Hi everyone and welcome to another video of mine. This video is on, it basically it's on flash, about flash and how does flash freeze motion and it is also to show you that now I've got my tablet connected to my 70D um, and obviously you can't see that but my tablet is connected to my 70D I'm now wirelessly transmitting the picture along to my mobile phone so that now basically I'll just give you a quick demonstration I'll just change the ISO on the exposure and you'll now see the ISO has gone dark I'll now click now and the ISO has now gone back up um, I have got audio meters on the phone and so basically I'm going to be using this now every time I do a video just in case the exposure changes it is pretty dark outside I'm at ISO 1000 f4 at 1 1 30th of a second with a bit of video light as well because it's very dark so um, and then it works great and I'm going to use this when we do weddings when we set a couple of static cameras up at the back of the church um, I'm going to have this phone connected to my camera that I'm walking around with so that I can keep an eye on those two static cameras so that if the exposure changes or somebody gets in the way I can see it and it's wirelessly by the way I'm not on the internet I'm my tablet if you want me to do a video on it my tablet is set as a wi-fi hotspot and then I've connected my phone here I've basically turned on my Galaxy went to Wi-Fi it's found my tablet which I named DSLR controller and I've connected to it nothing to do with the internet whatsoever I can go do this in the garden or in the middle of anywhere and then basically you open DSLR controller on the tablet um, I could actually swap it around and have the tablet in my hand but the tablet is 10 inch so you open the tablet um, you open the tablet and you tell it to be a, a wireless pass through then you open DSLR controller here and it just connects up to it and I'll tell you now I'm waving my hand now now obviously you're not going to see this because it's here on the thing um, but when I'm waving my hand it's near enough real time uh, it's it's near enough real time so that's great anyway so let me just go on to the um, sorry that I'm looking down I'm just looking at the phone keeping an eye on it let me just go on to about how does flash freeze action now there's a lot of confusion here on how flash actually does freeze action and a lot of people understand that i'm going to try break it down in the next couple two or three minutes hopefully basically when you use flash it's like using I mean, I'm going to use an example. It's like using an ultra, ultra fast shutter speed. You know when your shutter goes off and if you set, tell it to go off at 8,000 of a second and it goes bang and it, and it really does fire fast and it freezes action, doesn't it? Well, that's what your flash is. Your flash flashes that fast that if there's no other light in the picture, um, like now, you're looking at this picture of me, but there is a fair bit of ambient in the image. I mean, there is some fill light here, but there is ambient. If I turn that light off, there's, there's still ambient. So if I were to take a picture and move like that, I'd still be blurred because, because basically the, it's taking in ambient. So clash your flash as like having a really, really fast shutter speed on your camera. But this is where people... I've heard people go outside and say to me, look, uh, I'm going to turn VC off because I'm using flash and I don't need it because the flash will freeze the action. And they were quite pleasantly surprised when I turned around and went, hang on a minute. Flash is not going to freeze the action out here, pal. You know, we're in the middle of the day. You're only using it as fill flash. It's not going to at all freeze action. It's only going to freeze action if, for if you're using it as like, I mean, I don't know the exact figures, but if you're using it as a bit of fill flash, maybe indoors in really low light, it'll work. But if you're using it outdoors, turning your VC off on your lens will not freeze action because you're taking in ambient light. So you, what you really need to do is you need to take a picture. And if your picture's quite dark without the flash, then yes, you'll find out the flash will freeze the action. But if your picture's near enough exposed and you're just sending in a tiny bit of fill flash, then you'll find out that your pictures won't be froze at all and you'll come home with all soft images. So remember, what I always do, I'll always, I always take a shot without no flash anyway because it makes sense to always take a shot without flash. And if I see that the subject, I mean, a good rule of thumb is to underexpose your image a couple of stops. 
and if you underexpose it a couple of stops and then the flash does the rest, then the flash will freeze action, for sure. But if you're underexposing a stop, it might still freeze action, but slow action. Like me going like this with my hand nice and slow, it might freeze that at one stop under the ambient. But if I went like that, it might still pick that up. Whereas if I took our two or three stops underneath the ambient and I went really fast, the flash would get it and freeze it. Um, it depends on how much ambient, and that's it basically. That's 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 how to explain how it works. Basically, it depends on how much ambient you're taking in. So, because um, when I first learned how to do it, I used to take in a load of ambient and a bit of fill, and then when they were dancing, come home and a few of my image, well, a lot of my images were soft. I, you know, I talk to you from experience, um, and and I like to. I don't know, but I like to give a full. I know when people do stuff on YouTube, you get 50% of actually how it works and, and then that's the video over. So I hopefully mine are clear and they'll help you understand that if you have been using Flash and it ain't freezing the action, hopefully for what I've just said to you should explain why it hasn't froze the action. So you need to remember, it's like when you go outside and people tell you um, your shutter speed doesn't affect Flash. Um, but then if you are shooting at, I don't know, 200, 250th of a second and you're using some fill flash and you start slowing your shutter down, depending on how much ambient you're taking in, your exposure will start getting brighter and you'll think, well, my flash is making it get brighter. But it's not actually your flash, it's actually the ambient that's coming up to the level of the flash and it's actually your, flash, uh, your ambient that's blowing your image out, not your flash. Anyway, um, I'm going to do, please request if you want some videos on how to set this DSLR controller up. I have, and this is another, if anybody else is watching this, because I'm going to put this in the uh, description and in the tags. For people who are looking, I'm going to put DSLR controller in it as well, because I'd just like to explain that DSLR controller on some of the newer Android devices like me, um, 10.1 there, it won't work. So basically, I've had to root my tablet um, and install... Um, now, this is not very hard. If you want me to explain how to do that, I can. It's very easy. I've had to root my tablet and go back to Ice Cream Sandwich 404 instead of Jelly Bean. Now, to some people, that'll mean absolutely no, nothing. But to others who are actually going to see DSLR controller in search, it will. Um, I've also rooted my... This is a Samsung S2. I've rooted this as well, um, but it did, DSLR controller worked out of the box with the latest Jelly Bean, but for some reason it, on my Tab 2 10.1, it won't work at all on Jelly Bean, so I've had to root it. Now, I will tell you that for anybody who doesn't want to root the 10.1 Tab, um, you don't actually have to root it, you can actually flash a stock 404 ice cream sandwich onto it, but it's the same procedure as rooting it. So you might as well root it anyway. That way you can piss around with loads of different ROMs to get your tablet to go quicker. But you can actually use a program called o Odin and uh, an official firmware from XDA developers and you can flash your Tab 10.1 to 404 Ice Cream Sandwich which will work with DSLR controller and you won't void the warranty on your tablet. I've now void, well I have voided the warranty and I haven't because I can just go and unroot it and reset the counter with triangle away and take it back if it breaks but I mean I don't think it's going to break anyway and it ain't going to be going back. So yeah I'll just show you this one more time. I don't know, I'm going to come forward and I'm going to try and make this, oh no because it's going to be too bright now. I'm going to tell it to focus on my hand and I'm going to have to hold this like this, I have to do this. Now you're not going to see it, so what I'm going to do is here, just for the end of the video, let's turn the video light down, just hang on guys. What I'll do is, I don't know if you need, I mean I'll try to come even nearer, I don't know to how, um, just take the Instagram off. And there you go, you can see, I mean I'll wave, I don't know if it'll, oh yeah. Well, I'll try wave away from the lens and you can see there's not much lag and now I'll stop the video. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.